Okay, in this video, we're going to look at using Source Connect to um, connect to a remote studio so we can send and receive high quality audio. And we're going to look at how to set it up so that we can use Logic to send the audio to Source Connect and to our remote studio and use Logic to record the audio that we receive back from Source Connect. Okay, so here's um, my Source Connect uh, application running. Uh, this is Source Connect standard, but the same applies for Source Connect Pro and uh, Source Connect Pro X. At the moment, you can see that we've got um, some signal coming into Source Connect on this right hand channel here, on this meter here. This is just audio coming straight from my audio card. To start with, I'm going to put Source Connect into mono and it needs to just quickly restart. For this example, I'm just going to work in mono. Um, and now we've got no signal coming into Source Connect. So I'm just going to have a look at the audio options here. And we're working in high quality mono, um, 48 kilohertz to match the logic project rate that I'm working at. The buffer size I've got just set to medium. And then here we've got options for input and output. So the input is set to the input one of my audio interface, which is this Scarlett 6i6 USB audio interface. So my microphone is actually uh, plugged into input two. So I'm going to change that to two. And now we've got input going into Source Connect. Great. And that's fine. It's not taking its audio from Logic, even though I'm recording through Logic at the moment. It's just taking it from the hardware input on the front of the Focusrite 6i6 interface. So if I was to connect to one of these test contacts here, what will happen is whatever audio I send will come back to me just as a test, as if it was the remote studio that we were connected to. And where the output goes is also here on the audio options. And you can see here the audio output from Source Connect is going to go to the main outputs one and two of my Scarlett 6i6. OK, that's fine. Let's just try that and we'll connect up. OK, so we're now connected. OK, so we're now connected. And you can hear the audio coming you back. You can hear the audio coming back. So that works fine. And they could record me and they could direct me. Um, perfect. But what about if I wanted to record the audio of the microphone going through Logic? So for example, here I've got it coming in on track one here, and that's this is the corresponding channel strip, and we've got a, an EQ and a compressor. And I want to send that signal to Source Connect. How do we connect Logic to the Source Connect application? Well, the way you do that is with a little plugin called Source Connect Link. Now, when you install Source Connect, um, the main application, it will automatically install this Source Connect link plugin. So the way I'm going to do this in Logic is I'm going to come to my channel strip that I'm plugged into here. Input 2 is my microphone on the front of the focus right, And I'm going to bus this signal out to an auxiliary. So I'm going to choose bus 1. And when I do that, this is an empty project, it will create an auxiliary, and here it's created auxiliary number one. And in the audio FX insert box, I'm going to insert an instance of this Source Connect link plugin. So let's go and find that. And we come down to audio units, source elements, Source Connect link, uh, mono for now is fine. And there it is. And now when I turn up my bus send on my channel strip with the uh, microphone plugged into it, so I'm going to put that to Unity, option click. Now I'm sending my voiceover microphone to Source Connect Link. And I can use Source Connect Link to connect Logic to the main Source Connect application. Now at the moment, um, Source Connect here is just getting its feed from the front of the focus rod. That's not actually getting it from Logic because we need to tell it to connect to Source Connect Link. So the important thing here is on the Source Connect link instance here, we've got a ID number. It's called plugin ID number one. So when we come across to Source Connect here, if you look under audio options, you'll see that the input has a new option. So there's the Scarlet that we're currently um, selected to. And I'm going to come down to where it says link. And there we are, number one. We've only got one instance of that Source Connect link plugin. So it's number one. And now, 
Source Connect is getting fed by the audio signal from Logic. So it's coming in on this track, this channel strip, bust out. The Source Connect plugin picks up that um, send on bus one. And Source Connect Link links it in software through to the main Source Connect app. So now I'm sending Logic to Source Connect. And if I connected, then I would be sending them the audio feed from Logic. Perfect. In the next video, we're going to look at recording the output of Source Connect, so the audio we're receiving from the remote studio, and bringing that via Source Connect link into Logic.